Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Today, we are reading on you and someone in your environment. Okay, this is a mid-month reading. Okay, so what we are going to do is pull you and your person and your sitch. Okay, the situation. And we'll just talk on it. Toward the end, we may ask more clarifications or two weeks or whatever comes up here anything that is needed or necessary show me what's going on with scorpio over the next two weeks so mid-month until the new month here all right so let's just call it like that <laughs> hope you are well my love thank you for all your love and support you guys are the best all right Scorpio coming out with that nine of wong situation coming out with that page of uh, pentacles and someone let's horus energy all right so what are we working with here i'm just gonna take a peek at the bottom give you first impressions we will clarify okay Ooh. hey baby all right what you don't trust somebody who is this could be a cancer for some a Gemini hmm. doesn't have to be maybe this is like a placement here okay but it looks like this person like you've been aware of lies or someone's bad habits this is what this is with this moon and eight of swords okay I feel like there was so much confusion but no longer we're seeing eclipse energy so possibly around that eclipse that just happened in the sign of Scorpio brought a lot of clarification or something came to the surface okay the thing is is something is not hurting anymore Scorpio this is more so like I am aware of all the bad vibes that happen here with that 10 of swords. Because if you notice, this person's just kind of looking at, you know, a scene, okay? That's not very, I mean, they're not emotionally charged, but it's more like I can see clearly now how and why that played out. So it's looking at like ugly truths about a situation here. Here's the thing. Person's here. You're hearing from them, Okay. There's a new offer. This is, can I take you out? Do you want to go somewhere? This could be a group or a joint effort. So this could be you and this person and another person, or that's just the people who are involved here. And I just want to tell you like that because this is very much so standing out, the two people in the background, okay? Even if this person is coming forward, there's something going on here. There's two feminine energies and two masculine energies. Look at that, all right? So I'm just saying, just saying so here's what's up scorpio you are going to be facing some amount of i'm hearing manipulation very nice okay not really i'm being facetious but this is um i am seeing that the manipulation this is someone tempting you okay they're tempting you to step away from your post this is like scorpio you've been through so much let me make it easier for you Oh, Scorpio, look at your big, strong muscles. Okay, male or female, you get what I'm saying, okay? Someone's trying to tell you, hey, you know, you don't have to be so defensive. You don't, you don't have to, like, keep doing that same thing over and over. Come this way. Let me show you something new, all right? In the dark, of course. That's where this person is leading you into a dark tunnel or cave here. So your situation, the backside of the Page of Pentacles, I do feel like this is an individual you, that you are familiar with, but they are coming in to tempt you with a new beginning. Look at this card. This is the back of the Hierophant energy, and this is the energy of someone who is trying to get that new beginning popping off with you now i'm going to tell you this this could be someone who could be talking babies could be talking uh, fertility okay because i'm seeing this statue here and this baby here and also this dark cave is reminding me of this so it feels like someone could be trying to well first and foremost this is in a general sense a new beginning others of you someone wants to do the do okay and then for another set other of you is someone trying to get a permanent situation going on and this is about babies <laughs> okay i'm just saying 
Let's see the situation with the page of pentacles, please. Someone's talking babies into your ear. They're trying to tempt you. Ah, five of wands. Yeah, this is combative territory. I'm hearing that someone is very territorial here. Here's that ace of pentacles that we saw. All right, that's coming in with that three of cups. And yes, you do have this person coming in with earth sign energy. Interesting too, because they're looking back at themselves or looking at the baby here, which makes me feel like they're trying to maintain another area of life, whatever that may be. Okay, this could be someone who has a lot of means, okay, with the King of Pentacles, someone who is involved with finance for some, banking for some. Others of you, this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, so we have the King of Swords here on the bottom of the deck, all right? Situation looking like you're feeling a little bit conflicted here, Scorpio. You, you're conflicted about this situation. This is someone who's trying to secure a new beginning and you yourself, it's a little bit uneasy about this, okay? From what I'm seeing, there's a little bit of nervousness, a little bit of, you know, should I, shouldn't I going on within you. Matter of fact, why don't we pull and see what's up with you there with that nine of wands? Why is Scorpio showing up like this? You're like, I've been doing this forever. Like, why? Here's a side note as well. Some of you, this is someone that's come around a million times before. Okay, that's not everybody, but the Nine of Wands is someone who's been doing it forever, okay? This is someone trying to change your perspective on relationships, on a relationship with them. Someone could be trying to change your perspective on commitments, a commitment with them, as well as babies and babies with them, okay? They want you to think differently. They're like, think outside of the box, Scorpio. You don't have to be so uptight here. Just come my way over here, all right? So someone's definitely trying to tempt you. I'm getting like snake charmer vibes, just saying, okay? Someone is tempting you into a new way of believing, of being, of behaving. There's a new mode of function here, but there's also a little bit of secrecy going on about that. Not everybody knows about this because this is the back of the higher font, okay? That's what it is. Now, let me see this nine of wands. I'm hearing wiener. Was that like hot dog, wiener dog, dachshund, something like that? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Okay, now I know. Seven of Swords, baby. Baby doll. Ace of Cups, all right? Hiding your feels here, Scorpio. You don't want to let this person see you sweat, okay? From what I'm seeing, okay, it looks like you're trying to get out of a precarious situation. You're thinking for the future right now. You're like, you know, this is a little tricky here. Not sure what to do with this Ace of Cups. Maybe I shouldn't wear my heart on my sleeve. There's something about you feeling this way. You don't want this to be difficult. As a matter of fact, you want to do away with difficulty instead. If this situation has just been dragging on or whatever the case, it's, it's like the straw that's breaking the camel's back for you or it has that feeling, okay? I see that you could be bending over backwards in your life here for the coin, all right, with that 10 of pentacles there. Let me see what else is here. Someone is offering you long-term and you may feel very secretive at the same darn time. Tell me what this is. Seven of wands, yeah. So you feel like someone has the tendency to disrupt your flow or disrupt. Okay, that sounds like, that also sounds something about fertility, doesn't it? But I mean like your workflow or your money or your finances. Like you feel like someone is distracting you in some way with like an urge or a temptation. You're working very hard to create a future for yourself or it's like you want to protect this long-term vision of yours from what I'm seeing here. So tell me what this Seven of Swords is about for Scorp. It's the sun. Mm. And the three of cups. That's what I'm saying. So this offer that's coming in, I do feel you've been thinking about it quite a bit. You may be seeking some clarity. You probably already sized this up by the time the sun is coming out here. Okay. But you know that this person is coming back in. It's just that you feel like they're going to ruin something or that you're going to ruin something in the process of dealing with somebody here. Quite the reading.
Let me see this person with the higher font, please. Who is this? Oh. Scorpio. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. I was just looking at you there. You're feeling this is a big risk to deal with someone because it's almost like, I don't know if you have, you know, other stuff going on or this person does or you both do, but there's a general like shakiness or like walking on eggshell vibe. Like, let me be careful not to step on a crack and break, you know, my mama's, uh, you know, you know how it goes. Let me see this higher font, please. I'm hearing don't even, don't even. This Knight of Swords energy person, yeah, with their happy-go-lucky self is coming in with that full card energy, this Knight of Swords. Yes, a lot of Gemini vibes here. Mm-hmm. This could be a retrograde thing happening to yes. All right. They're stuck on you, Scorpio. Boom, pal, okay? That is your vibe here. So maybe you're dealing with another one of you, Scorpio, like a Scorpio. Maybe you're not a Scorpio sun, okay? Maybe you have a Sag placement. But this is Scorpio vibes, Gemini vibes, and Taurus vibes, as well as other water sign vibes, okay? So here's what's up, okay? This person has not been able to let go of the feelings for you. Whoever this is feels very strongly right now. I do feel like because of a switch up or a change that has occurred, it's making this person want to hurry, rush, change things. They can't let go of you, Scorpio. Someone is stuck on you. Whoever this is, they're stuck on you. They're thinking long term. You're feeling risque. Okay, risky, not risque. Risky about it. You're feeling like this person's like, man, this person has a lot of gall to do this here. Okay, let me see what their intentions are if we haven't already cleared this up, is what she said. Okay, I'm hearing clear the air. I'm hearing clear your throat. Yep, here it is. The four of pentacle they want uh -huh, clear your throat that's so funny so the four of pentacles is like holding on to stuff right and the eight of wands is communication they could be trying to clear their throat and clear the air here because they want to communicate here they want to talk about things with you they want to alleviate the boundaries here so the eight of cups is on the bottom i feel like this is someone who feels like you don't care scorpio maybe you do maybe you don't but you feel kind of like Spidey senses or the hair on the neck on your the back of your neck stands up when dealing with this individual. This is what I'm picking up on, whoever this is to you. Okay. I feel like, let me see here. Yeah. Person wants to communicate here nine of pentacles they could be wanting to spoil you okay someone in this reading wants to maintain a sense of self like not necessarily togetherness and this person is aware of it whoever this is mm -hmm. person could be wanting to spoil you scorpio okay so you and this person, Scorpio, in the next two weeks, please. Hmm. <laughs> Is that so? Someone's looking forward to a connection here, Scorp. They are. Look at that. So judgment is coming in. Someone can't let go. It's just what it is. Someone is stuck on you, thinking about you quite a bit. They're kind of confused about what to say, how to approach. They're looking for an in, looking for the day that you guys can communicate or clear the air or release the blockages or burdens or get you to open up here, okay? Because that four of pentacles was there as well as this. And it's showing someone is feeling kind of stuck with you, but they want to alleviate that. That's what it is, all right? So let me see. I'm going to pull you in the next two weeks and then we'll pull... No, let's pull this person first, okay? Them in the next two weeks. Whoever this individual is, they're coming back, guys. Yep, Six of Cups. I just told you. Six of Cups is the card of reconciliation. They are coming back, okay? Yep, again, judgment is the card of reconciliation. <laughs> and the Four of Cups is here. Oh, and the three of swords they're feeling a little bit rejected it's a wound of theirs maybe they don't like that i don't know who does to be honest but maybe this is a specific wound of theirs like rejection 
Um, I'm hearing God's protection, but they don't feel that way, okay? They want to be connected to you in some form. It's like they want to come back in and they're not getting exactly what they need or want from the situation. They're secretly hurting or sad here, okay? Lots of Scorpio energy. And then we have Libra Cancer here. So this is like someone feeling rejected, put out, okay, and hurt over that. That's them in the next two weeks, okay? They're trying to get that new start happening, but not quite satisfied with the results. Okay, so I'm getting something about test results. Someone got some bad test results or test results that they don't like. Whatever that means to you, okay? I feel like it's this person. Someone got tested for something. I don't know what it is. Let me see. It's oh, Maybe it's health related. Okay. Hmm. I, okay. Sometimes I'm not meant to know. So this person, uh, Scorpio. Let me see Scorpio in the next two weeks. So you are the four of pentacles. That's the thing. They want you to open up and your seven of wands is here. Release, Scorpio. Release, okay? There's no need for you to hold down the fort so hard. And you're saying, yes, it is. Yes, I need to. Yes, I am. Okay, so the king of cups on the bottom of the deck here. It looks like you are very firm in your boundaries. You don't want someone coming and going as they please. Or you just feel like this person's just like raining on your parade or stampeding through your garden, okay? And your garden of Ten of Pentacles is what I'm speaking of. So whatever you're creating, whatever you're building, you're working so hard on, okay? You feel like this, and hard on, you feel like this person is just trampling you in some form with the King of Cups. You're trying to hold on to something that you value and you are keeping some boundaries here in the next two weeks. I feel this is someone trying to get you to open up all right so it's up to you let's see what's going to be progressing for scorp okay emperor very sovereign ten of pentacles yeah so the three of wands got your mind on your money your money on your mind you are definitely moving forward with the three of wands ten of cups ten of pentacles baby okay we got zaddy energy here so this could be you you're choosing your place in the world okay you're looking forward to your wise investments paying off and they are if this is about you doing business okay making money getting married all those things are lining up for you right now but you have to make those wise investments with the three of wands your ships will be coming in you're looking forward to the ten of cups energy happy home life marriage what have you there's something that you are already working on that you're aware of so that's how you know what this is i love you so very much scorpio feel free to check previous and future reads for more or different information friends family members neighbors co-workers peep and tom peep and tom down the street to replacements too so we know what they're up to kisses i love you bye